It's time for a change. We need some different leadership up there. New to politics, Stan Larson is challenging longtime state representative Marion McLawhorn in the 9th District. It covers part of Pitt County. Repeated attempts to interview McLawhorn ended when she said she didn't have time to talk to Carolina Journal. She first won the seat in 1998 and has held it ever since. But this year, McLawhorn has a tight race with Larson. A Carolina Strategy Group poll of likely voters gives McLawhorn a three-point advantage. At the last reporting period, she raised six times the cash of Larson. McLawhorn also accepted nearly $6,000 from various political action committees, something Larson refuses to do. My campaign has pledged not to take any PAC money, not one dime. So far, he's kept that promise. Larson says his wife helped organize a tea party in Greenville last year and says he agrees with the movement's sentiment of lower taxes, less spending, and smaller government. However, he also says he has not been endorsed by any tea party organization. McLawhorn voted for the state's last two budgets that raised the sales tax by nearly $2 billion and relied on nearly $3 billion in federal stimulus. It's a budget Larson says will lead to higher taxes next year. We're facing a $3 billion budget deficit next year, and we know what the current leadership's answer to that is. It's going to be to raise taxes. McLawhorn's first election was very close, but she has always easily won re-election. The polls and politics hint that this year may be her biggest challenge yet. For CarolinaJournal.tv, I'm Anthony Greco.